What's going on, everybody? This is DK Dynamite, and I apologize, I do sound a bit off, I'm a bit under the weather, and it's that time of the year again, but today we're gonna be talking about some exciting new reveals from Modern Warfare 3, the full game preload, plus even more, definitely stay tuned, but before we jump into that, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below, drop a like, and also as a reminder, we got plenty of brand new content going up over on Detonated.com, expanding on all the coverage you're seeing here on the channel, just in the form of articles on the website, and plenty of tweets every single hour on Detonated's Twitter. With that being said, earlier today, Call of Duty's Twitter did go ahead and promote the brand new Dune Sarkadar bundle, which is coming out relatively soon to celebrate the collaboration with Dune Part 2. The movie did get delayed, but the bundle is still going to release here at the end of Season 6. Let me know if you guys are excited about that pack down below in the comments, but it is amongst one of the final content updates for Modern Warfare 2 that we are going to see. I talked more about the end of Modern Warfare 2 in my previous video, since as a reminder, The Haunting is the Season 6 Reloaded update. There will not be any further content updates apart from bundles that do release before MW3. Now today, Control Freaks did go ahead and reveal the Modern Warfare 3 performance thumbsticks. They're doing something a bit different as opposed to previous years where they collaborate with Call of Duty. This time around, they're releasing two different editions of what looks like the same set of thumbsticks, but there is a bit of a catch here. So first off, we have the no slip thumb grips. So these are the black Coney logos on some thumbsticks here, as you can see. They're only available for a limited time. Apparently, they'll probably bring them back in stock every so often if they are popular. And I did cover these in a previous video where I talked about all promo bonuses and store collaborations with Modern Warfare 3. These thumbsticks will be available with a select edition of Modern Warfare 3 that you can only get at Walmart, but if you just want the thumbsticks by themselves, you can get them from Control Freak's website. Now, they're also going to be selling red collector's editions of these same thumbsticks featuring a case. Now, they did release a collector's edition of the Juggernaut Control Freaks a couple of years back. Always a big fan of when they do stuff like this. The collector's case does look incredible, and both of these sets, right, the black pair and the red pair, will come with an in-game weapon charm for use in COD. 2.0. Now, you can use code Dynamite to save 10% off any order on the Control Freak site. If you guys go ahead and use my code, feel free to tweet me a screenshot showing me that you did so, and I'll go ahead and retweet that and drop you a follow over on social media. Now, I do believe Control Freaks got acquired by Steel Series a little while back, or they're just partnered with them. They did go ahead and promote some other products, as you can see, with the Modern Warfare 3 theme. We have a booster pack, a mouse pad, and some other stuff that is all linked down below in this video's description. Now, late last night, PlayStation Size over on Twitter did go ahead and reveal a ton of information about the full game preload for Modern Warfare 3. First off, he went ahead and posted Call of Duty base game plus campaign packs. A bit of a comparison, Vanguard was 53 gigs, Modern Warfare 2 was 52 gigs, but Modern Warfare 3 will unfortunately be 140 gigs. The reason why is because a majority of that download is, of course, the base game, but you also have to go ahead and download the Call of Duty HQ application. You guys already have that application if you already have Modern Warfare 2 installed on your platform. Warzone doesn't count. If you have Modern Warfare 2 installed, then your download from Modern Warfare 3 should be a little bit smaller. But even if you do have Modern Warfare 2 installed and you get MW3, you then have the option of uninstalling the Modern Warfare 2 packs so that COD HQ doesn't take up that much space on your platform. He also went and reported on two new license packs for Modern Warfare 2. Not sure what those could be for, but maybe something to get us prepared for Modern Warfare 3 and maybe something to do with game sharing, if possible. Not exactly sure on the details of that, but if you guys have any more information about this, feel free to drop a comment down below. Here's what gets interesting, though. So, Update 1.30 for Call of Duty HQ did get added to the PlayStation database. So the update is about 89 gigs, or excuse me, about 84 gigs in size, as you can see, which means if you don't have COD HQ installed and you want to play campaign only for Modern Warfare 3, you have to download 140 gigs. So if you guys do have COD HQ installed, that saves you a good 50 plus gigs that you have to download. Again, you have COD HQ installed if you already own Modern Warfare 2. If you don't own that game, that means you do not have COD HQ installed installed and your update is going to be a lot larger. But to go even further with this, the campaign packs are as follows. We have campaign pack one, which will be around 18 gigs, campaign pack two, which is 32 gigs. And then overall, the cross-gen bundle, which costs 70 bucks, will let you preload the campaign November 1st at 10 a.m. Pacific, and it'll have a release date of November 2nd, 10 a.m. Pacific. But if you guys out there got a physical copy of Modern Warfare 3 or pre-ordered one, I should say, you will not get early access to the campaign. And if you guys out there are on Battle.net, luckily for you, you're able to preload the campaign starting today. That's only if you digitally pre-order the game on Battle.net. You can go ahead and preload as of right now. Other platforms such as Steam, PlayStation, and Xbox have to wait until this Wednesday, November the 1st. In terms of the Europe version of these campaign packs, pack 1 will be 19 gigs and pack 2 will be 33 gigs. But today Call of Duty dropped a brand new blog talking about the preload and start times for not just the MW3 campaign, but the entire game as well. So as a reminder, MW3's campaign is playable November 2nd, 10 a.m. Pacific, 11 
o'clock Mountain Time, 12 o'clock Central, 1 o'clock Eastern, 5 p.m. UK, and 6 p.m. CEST. Then November 3rd for JST at 2 a.m. and 4 a.m. for AEDT. We also got brand new images of the beautiful campaign, as you can see on screen. Probably some screenshots from some of the various missions. Again, as of right now, it's rumored that we're going to end up seeing nine traditional missions and about five open world ones. Again, that's all subject to change. I'll keep you guys posted on the exact campaign mission list and all the achievements as the game does release in the next couple of days. But if you guys are like, wait, DK, what about the rest of Modern Warfare 3, multiplayer and zombies? Well, don't worry, I got you covered with that as well because it was revealed today that you can start preloading multiplayer and zombie data packs beginning on November 8th at 9 a.m. Pacific. And again, as a reminder, the full game does release November 10th at 9 a.m. Pacific. That will include multiplayer and zombies. If you didn't digitally pre-order Modern Warfare 3 but have a physical copy or just plan on buying the game on November the 10th, that'll be the day when you can play any game mode, campaign, multiplayer, or zombies. Now, I will, of course, update you guys in a future video with the exact file sizes of multiplayer and zombies. I'll give some estimates and probably put them on screen or in a detonated article, letting you guys know how the preload sizes looked in the past for multiplayer and zombies, at least in games like Cold War and even Vanguard. I'll keep you guys posted, but in terms of Warzone, right, the new Urzikstan Warzone experience, that won't be dropping until Season 1, which begins on December the 6th. Obviously, you'll be downloading just about the entirety of Urzikstan because MW3 Zombies will feature that map, but there still will be a separate download for Warzone closer to Season 1. I'm expecting the preload for that to go live on December 4th at about 9 a.m. Pacific, and then the launch Season 1 should be December 6th, 9 a.m. Pacific. Unless there are any delays, that should be how the preload does work for Warzone Season 1. But just to clarify as well, it's not Warzone 3 that's coming out. I mean, with the big overhauls and gameplay changes that are coming to Warzone, it might feel like that, but it really just is an expansion and overhaul to the existing Warzone application that you might already have right now thanks to COD 2.0. But going through the rest of this blog post here, they did go ahead and post an image of the launch map for when the game does release worldwide on PC. They also posted the minimum specs, which I'm going to go ahead and update the detonated article about this information. I posted minimum specs as of recently for the beta, but I'm going to go ahead and update that article with all this new information here. Obviously, Beanox is handling the PC version of Call of Duty yet again this year. They mentioned the NVIDIA integration. They went ahead and provided competitive and ultra 4K performance options that you can actually equip here for Modern Warfare 3. And with that being said, they also posted a new graphic for the Vault Edition of Modern Warfare 3, since there are quite a few new bonuses that weren't previously announced when the Vault Edition was initially revealed. But with that, if you guys are like, wait, DK, how is there a preload for Xbox and PC this time around, but there usually aren't any for the new seasons? I'm not sure why that's the case, or if Microsoft is going to change that as they've now acquired Activision. Would be great, though, if before every major title update for Call of Duty, every platform gets at least a day or two to preload that content. Don't make it installable, because that'll lead to a bunch of leaks and whatnot not, but at least have it downloadable for every platform at around the same time so that everybody out there could jump right into the content as the DLC does drop. That's what I would recommend at least for the future, but let's see how that ends up working. As of the last couple of years, only PlayStation has been able to preload the brand new seasons or mid-seasons, but every platform typically gets the opportunity to preload the entire game prior to the full game's launch. But real quick before I end this video, just to go along with that controversy, oh, Modern Warfare 3 is just a DLC. Has everybody forgotten that we've been seeing data packs for new Call of Duties ever since Modern Modern Warfare 19, so with that logic, is Cold War or Vanguard or Modern Warfare 2 just a big DLC since we've also been downloading data packs? I get that COD HQ is the new launcher for the COD series, and that became a thing with Modern Warfare 2, so it's funny to go ahead and joke and say, oh yeah, Modern Warfare 3 or the next Black Ops game are just DLC packs for the COD HQ app. It's funny to say that, but... We're getting a lot of brand new content this time around, so unless Modern Warfare 3 or just Modern Warfare isn't your cup of tea, then be expecting a pretty interesting and innovative campaign this time around with open world missions. We have a nice new multiplayer featuring a bunch of remastered maps and a fully overhauled experience compared to MW2, plus a brand new open world zombie. That doesn't sound like a DLC pack to me, but it'll be funny to see how many more months we have of that whole controversy that MW3 is apparently a big DLC. It's not. But that is about it. This has been DK Dynamite. Leave our thoughts down below in the comment section. What are your thoughts on the 140 gigabyte DLC pack? Everybody's calling Modern Warfare 3 right now. It's not a DLC pack, but what are your thoughts on the full game download as well as the brand new marketing we got today and the new set of thumbsticks? Really hope you've enjoyed and peace out, everybody.